Maverick Nation, YouTube family, we are going Maverick in another place again. All right, so is this this debate back on the burner again? Kadisha Bonishaw, the 26 year old Jamaican reggae girls football captain, star striker and captain. Bonishaw, is she Jamaica's greatest ever footballer? Is Kadisha Bonishaw Jamaica's greatest ever goal scorer? Bonishaw has 20 goals in 21 games for her club Manchester City, big club of England. She also has 55 goals in 38 games for the national senior reggae girls team. Bonisha is a supreme talent, not just in Jamaica, but in the world. But the narrative is now from she went past Luton Shelton in terms of the amount of goals where she scored for Jamaica. This debate did start, you know. Say, is Khadija Bonisha Jamaica's leading goal scorer in football? Obviously, we are crisscross the genders when we make a general statement like that. No, we have a problem with that fundamentally. If this is sports, and sports is competed in, in a gender categories, male gender and female gender. So if you have sport being played in a gender categories, in this case, football, if football, if woman play against woman in football and man play against man in football, then why when we evaluate the individual players, we crisscross it to them and put it to them in a one. Something fundamentally wrong with that in principle. Eh? We don't see it happening in any other sport. When people are talking about the greatest basketball ever, you hear about Michael Jordan, you hear about LeBron James, you hear about Karim Abdul Jabbar. We don't hear nobody bring up no WNBA player name in this. When people are talking about the greatest WNBA player now, then you talk about the women who play in the WNBA. When people are talking about cricket, when people are talking about Brian Lara as the greatest batsman to have ever picked up a cricket bat, some people say Steve Smith at the current Guinea Gaga Test cricket, some people say Virat Kohli, Sachin Tendulkar, Kumar Sangakara. Eh? Nobody mentioned Heather Knight and Stephanie Taylor and Deandra Dutton in that debate. Eh? When people are talking about track and field, when people are talking about who is the greatest sprinter of all time, people don't talk about Shelly and Fraser Price and Usain Bolt in the same statement. They talk about Usain Bolt as the greatest male sprinter of all time and Shelly and Fraser Price potentially the greatest female sprinter of all time. So why we come around a football now and a crisscross the thing and a short circuit the thing? I don't understand it. Me, me, hold on, let me tell about that. I understand the politics of the times. <laughs> See? But if you're going to do it, do it consistently. Do it across all sports. When we are talking about the greatest tennis player of all time, eh? you hear anybody talk about Serena Williams in the same sentence with Roger Federer, or them talk about Serena Williams in comparison to the other female tennis players. And then you talk about Roger Federer and compare with Nova Djokovic and Pete Sampras and Andre Agassi and all of them people. Eh? Where we come out of football with these foolishes, and it's especially so in Jamaica. Can we not pick up the narrative upon the international discussion? We don't talk about sports across genders and internationally. But it's in Jamaica, we take up this thing now because Bonisha is doing so well in our international career, doing so well in our club career. When we are making the announcement now, Bonnie is scoring goals like Bow in a Manchester City. She scored four in a one game the other day. She's now up to 20 goals in a 21 games. For Jamaica, she is even more prolific. She averaged one, about 1.5 goal per game for Jamaica. Over 38 games, she had 55 goal. She have, she's having an illustrious career. But when we talk about Bonisha, we talk about Bonisha as the greatest Jamaican female player to have ever played. When we talk about the male the, 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 the equivalent now, then you talk about the man as the greatest Jamaican male baller of all time. And the people have a problem. Is that when we are talking about the, 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 male, the male football of them, we don't distinguish themselves, they are male baller. So we don't start the black and pearl and the wickedest baller, one of the wickedest baller pass through Jamaica. Or Leon Bailey and the wickedest baller come out of Jamaica and shorts. Or Lindy De La Pena was the biggest baller to come out of Jamaica. We know, categorize it and say male baller. So therefore, we are doing the same thing with money also. It's full hard for me.
Let me tell you why. The comparison is not congruent. First of all, you can't just look at Bonnie say, and say, all right, Bonnie is, is the greatest player because Bonnie, it, 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 Bonnie not playing against the same opponents where Leon Bailey are playing against. We don't do respect. And when you look at the dynamics of female football in the Caribbean, a whole part female, a whole part countries just start play play women's football and they don't know what them they don't know what they are doing in women's football. So when Bonnie Shaw, who in an established league in Europe now, and come back to Jamaica, come play World Cup qualifiers or Caribbean qualifiers or whatever now, and book up on some little team where some them just take some kids out of class and say go represent the country. And Bonnie scored 10 goals in a one match against them. You can count that and say Bonnie is now Jamaica's greatest ever striker. No, something about it. We have to be a little bit more nuanced in how we discuss sports and analyze sports and ascribe greatness and all of them something there. Maybe there are some debates with some people about the very same thing on the radio. When we are ascribe greatness or make general or give general accolades, you know, we have to be a little bit more, we have, we have to think more about it and be a little bit more detailed in how we analyze and ascribe them something there. So you have to think about all of the context with what with what Bonisha achieved, you know. Especially with that international scoring record, you know. Without a doubt now, she's established herself as one of the top strikers in the world, female football. I don't call it women's football. But if you then carry cross that now and say Bonisha is Jamaica's greatest ever footballer, something sound wrong and feel wrong and is wrong with that, me think. And look here. We know what I mean. Ladies, subscribers, and viewers, come and come call me. Misogynist and sexist and all of them something. You know. We done discussed some topic on the channel the other day. Some of my erudite um, subscribers them come on the channel and tell me, say, me have a problem with women and all them something. You know. That is why sometimes, you see, when you discuss them kind of issue here. Yeah. Me don't like no issue when me can't discuss still, you know. So me not go run from discussing them issue there. But them, them kind of thing that irritate me when you try to discuss a, a, a topic honestly. I know certain topic is so sensitive. And that's one of them. Anyway, what is about Bonnie Shaw now? Greatest Jamaican goal scorer. Greatest Jamaican football export. Greatest Jamaican football player. All we need to categorize it. Hmm? Like when we categorize in agenda for some other issues. We don't have to categorize this, too, man. I just think it makes only logical sense to categorize it. Categorized football played in the categories. So when we are ascribed greatness, we have to break it down another category that took. If you keep everything congruent and fair. Anyway, tell me one thing about we meeting. Tell me one thing. No?